All right. So, first off, man, I want to dedicate this video to uh, my buddy R. Jenkins. Jenkins, man, I hope you're doing all right. I hope you, you know, wish you a speedy recovery, brother. Um, it's because you and a couple others that I'm still doing this channel, trying to help people out, do the most uh, they can, and, and get ready for calamity. Because, you know, we, we see that across the horizon there, man, like a storm coming. And uh, I almost gave up for a while. I mean, almost no views, but, you know, him and uh, some other folks say, man, you know, you do good stuff, keep going. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep doing this. And, uh, man, speedy recovery, brother. God bless you. Um, this here is a rifle I put together off a kit from Ceratech. And... If you haven't seen the other videos I was talking about, you know, I definitely believe you should have something around to defend yourself in times of calamity. You look at L.A. riots. I always talk about, you know, Ferguson riots, uh, Hurricane Katrina. Something could happen at any time, right? And, you know, contrary to what the media tries to tell you, this is just a semi-automatic rifle, right? Highly adjustable. You can... You can Tweak it however you like, right? Uh, basically a glorified 22, right? Uh, a shotgun or any of these bolt-action hunting rifles do a lot more damage than something like this, right? This thing just looks scary. That's it, right? To some people, it looks scary. Uh, but anyway, it would help having something like this if you really, really needed it, man. God forbid you're in that situation or something like this could save your life or your family's life because there's people out there you know that would take your life just because just waiting for something bad to happen right you look at these riots you look at these these guys that are out there just waiting for law enforcement to be overwhelmed right go out there and rape and hurt people sometimes even law enforcement not all but you you know remember uh during hurricane katrina um i forget the name of that bridge but they were saying that cops shot people and then manufactured evidence, right? And I, uh, I'm not against the cops, man. They keep society together, right? But cops are people. There's going to be some bad apples in there, right? I mean, they, you know, first off, they, hey, they put their life out in the line um, to keep stability, man. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that, that takes a lot, man. But again, some of them are bad apples. There's a couple out there for every, you know, so many that are good. There'll be a couple that are bad. And, and that's even the cops, right? And you look at all these this criminal element out there just waiting for something bad to happen. Some can't happen. <laughs> Having something like this around could protect you, right? It's better than, uh, you know, baseball bat or something. I mean, if worse came to worse, yeah, I'd, I'd use a baseball bat. But, I mean, what the heck are you really going to do if there's a couple of them, man? And especially their arm. This gives you, a, you know, a chance. Look at LA riots where these guys, there's people where they have, the shop owners, you know, they got their house in the bottom. They got shops in the top and people are running around burning stuff down. People that are going to come up and burn your home and your business with your family in it. Uh-uh. That's why you need something like this. That crap does happen, man. Not very often, but it does happen. Right? You look at what's going on in Europe right now, man. All the stabbings, acid attacks, and, you know rapes and, and people being assaulted that that shit does happen right now to the rifle here you if you order this from uh Ceratac, what you're gonna get i put some extras on here so let me tell you what i put on here and you're not gonna get this laser's light the laser light was uh just sitting around this is gonna be a plinker rifle anyway so i'm like you know what the heck i'm gonna put that on there you know just because this uh, red dot, I had it laying around, right? It was just sitting around, didn't get any use out of it. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put it on here too. This guy, I got off of uh, eBay. It's a knockoff, Magpul knockoff, but I got it for seven bucks. Seems to be doing a decent job. Again, it's just a plinker rifle. It doesn't really matter to me. I got this end plate with the loops on it, just like that. eBay came with a sling. And, uh, and the end plate. I had to do a little bit of filing, man. 
So if you order one of those, again, this is just a plinker, but if you order one of those, you're going to have to do a little bit of filing. It does not fit, right? Um, but it's not that big of a deal. And this magazine I had laying around just to, doesn't have any manufacturer. I've seen these before, but, you know, no name manufacturer magazine, nothing, nothing basic, but it works. I mean, nothing not special, but yeah, just basic magazine, but it works. So I'm like, you know what the heck? Uh, I'll put it there. It's just been laying around. Parts have just been laying around in a box uh, for a long time. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to put them to use. This is the kind of uh, pistol grip and buttstock you're going to get if you order from them. You're their basic kit. When I unboxed it, you saw Magpul, right? I ordered the Magpul upgrades for a different rifle. I only ordered them to pull them from this kit and swap out. Right, this is off my other rifle, and I'm like, you know what, let me just take that. So this is the exact uh, type of pistol grip you'll get with this kit, and this is the exact six position buttstock you're going to get with this kit. So this is pretty much what you're looking at. Minus a functional lower receiver, you have everything, and a magazine, you have everything else you're going to need. They do sell 80% lowers. You have to mill that sucker yourself for your ghost gun if you want it to go that route. Um, they are $35, I believe, extra. Um, I got mine for $25. It was on sale. But, uh, you know, if you want to go that route, you can go that route. Or, what you can do is just buy the kit alone and go get yourself an Anderson lower. Right? Name your rifle Mr. Anderson. Uh, get an Anderson lower. Go, you know, FFL, just go to a gun shop. It's, it's cheaper that way. You're going to have to pay for shipping anyway. So go to a, you know, gun shop. Find yourself a completed lower. Of course, you got to do your background check and all that. Uh, no big deal. And uh, it comes with everything else. You know, you go go to the gun shop, get your lower uh, receiver, completed lower receiver, do your background check, pick yourself up a magazine while you're there, and you have everything else waiting at home if you bought this kit, Right? It comes with the lower parts kit. It comes with everything else you need. The sights are an extra $10. So just their basic, basic kit, you're looking at $259, right? Plus tax. But you start you off $259. You have everything you need for you, you just to put your rifle together, except the lower and your, your magazine, right? The uh, if you got yourself an Anderson lower, they go from maybe 50 bucks, you can get them as cheap as 30 around 30 something bucks right when they're on sale. So, for just over 300 bucks, man, a brand new mil spec AR. Now, going into the uh, the parts, going online, do a little research, couldn't find much. Uh, and then, uh, you know, watching other videos, people talking about them, learn what I can from other folks, and getting on there and uh, on their site. And they have great customer service. Get on there. Uh, you can chat with, uh, with their representatives. I've spoken with quite a few or chatted with a come online. And it seems that they are using parts from other manufacturers. Okay? So, I mean, the parts... They seem to remind me, you know, of your budget manufacturers. Again, mil spec. Uh, it's not like it's, you know, some clinker, some junker, or something like that. No, 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 man. They are mil spec parts, right? Budget, but mil spec. And mil spec is just going to be the best quality at a certain price point, right? So that sucker, it's going to work, right? But it seems to be. Parts from uh, like, uh, what do you call it, blemish parts. Some blemish parts and some that they get on deal. For example, the uh, the birdcage, the, the flash hider there, it has a scuff on the... You can see it's a little bit scuffed up. I don't know if you can see that or not here. Right? It came that way. Do I care? Hell no. I don't care. If you're going to use this thing... You lean it up against a tree, you drop it on the dirt, you know, it hits a rock or something, it's going to get scuffed up, right? If you want a rifle or just any kind of gun, you know, just to have it a case, let's say you have a single action army with mammoth ivory, it's got beautiful engravings, yeah, you keep that in a display case, 
right? You just look at it. You get a hard on when you take a look in that damn case and see it there, right? In mint condition. That's fine. But you're getting, if you're going to get a rifle, something you're actually going to use, blemishes don't matter, man. Right? Um, you're going you're gonna to scuff it up anyway. If you're going to dura coat this thing, going to give it a paint job, it doesn't matter. You're going to use it. It's going to get scuffed up. You're going to put some wear and tear. This is a hell of a good starting, um, starter rifle, man. Um, the, the parts seem to be, to me, looks like it. Probably a combination of uh, Panther Arms, Anderson, and Palmetto State Arms. Right? That is what this reminds me of. And not that I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Right? They make quality budget parts. Right? But really, I mean, like the, if you go and let's say you get a, uh, a uh, uh, completed lower. You go to a gun shop. Do your background check. You walk out with a completed lower. Or a, you know, your, your milled out lower. Like from Anderson or something. What? is wrong with that right it's a aluminum lower it's got everything you need it's gonna work you're gonna get a hell of a long life out of that thing right and it's gonna be it's the same as anything else right okay it doesn't have a spider on the side it doesn't matter right it's gonna get the job done it's gonna be just your your basic basic AR but it's gonna work and it can save your life if need be so I would say they get a uh, combination of, uh, you know, manufacturers like, like DPMS, again, uh, Anderson and Palmetto State Arms, probably some other stuff in there too. But it doesn't matter. It's all mill spec. It goes together. You know, people put Frankenstein rifles together all the time. If you're going to put some uh, really high end together, then go and buy the parts separately. Buy what you want, you know. Uh, there's a guy that really knows what they're doing. Which is not me. I mean, you know, I know some of what I'm doing, but I'm not one of these guys that throw stuff together, you know, blindfolded. Um, but in that case, you don't want to buy a whole rifle off the shelf. You're going to wind up changing your stock, you know, the, the pistol grip, charging handle, hand guard. I mean, a lot of the rifle is going to wind up going. Change your uh, bolt carrier, you know, changing all that. You're getting rid of a lot of the rifle you paid for. If you're going to do something like that, Go and buy it separately, put it together, right? But if you just want a good budget rifle that's going to work, be built solid, man, something like this will do you just fine. You know, I've uh, watched other videos and people take this guy saying that this is kind of sharp. I mean, I haven't noticed any of that. This is, it seems to be very good workmanship. If you order one of these, you're not going to be disappointed, all right? It's very good quality. I mean, it is really good quality. And uh, let's say you order something and they're out of stock. Man, what really impressed me with these guys, I and mean, they have great customer service, uh, you know, you want to chit-chat about something before you buy, you know, I highly encourage you to do that. Another thing, if you order something and they're out, you get upgraded for free. I got uh, two upgrades on this sucker that I didn't pay for. It seems like they were out of stock. Number one, that handguard. I uh, I ordered the cheapest one. I think it's like a, a 10 inch handguard, if I remember correctly. And they were out of stock. They gave me a 12 inch. Didn't cost me a thing. They upgraded that for free. I ordered a 5.56 barrel as well because I wanted to do 5.56 or 2.23. They didn't have it. Apparently they were out of stock. I got 2.23 wild. Now, 2.23 wild can fire your. 223 Wild, of course. 556 five, and 223. I didn't pay for that. They were out and they upgraded free. This other guy was talking about how he ordered uh, his rifle and he ordered the basic charging handle. They were out of stock, so he got the ambidextrous free of charge. I remember when I was looking at these back in the summer. I'm on vacation, uh, wife's with the in laws, and uh, I was watching. They, they didn't have the, uh, the uh, key lock hand guards they were upgrading to uh, to the uh, M lock free and uh, the ambidextrous charging handle they were out of stock on the uh, on their basic so they did the ambidextrous upgrade free of charge that was you know if, if they don't have a part they will upgrade you for free right 
The uh, sights, they don't come with it. It's, it comes uh, optic ready. Or everything you put together, it's optic ready. They're, they're 10 bucks for that, you know. And, uh, they, you know, they're not the, the, the best in the world, but they'll definitely get the job done, right? You can tell they're going to hold up. They don't look like airsoft, really, you know, to me. It just looks like something you get, uh, you know, like I said, with some of those uh, budget manufacturers. No, no, uh, no frills, just uh, basic sights, right? Adjustable, too. I mean, you know, uh, flip up. That's, uh, that's always a plus. Right, um, so I can't, I can't say enough good things about it. For the price point, very, very good. Again, about two fifty nine, two forty nine, two fifty nine for everything you need, but the lower receiver. The lower receiver you can get probably thirty something bucks if you get a an Anderson on sale. If not, fifty bucks. Right, um, and you can get a magazine, you know, real cheap, man, ten, twelve bucks, maybe less than that if you, you know, they're on sale. So you can a little bit of time. And I'm going to put some videos to help you. The lower uh, receiver, I'll leave a video there that shows you how to do that. Uh, the barrel, I'll show you, you know, put a video to do that. Also, if you want the upper completed, it's an extra 15 bucks, right? So if you want to buy a, a, a torque wrench, man, you can just put the 15 bucks on that if you're just going to do one rifle and be done with it, right? You don't want to buy the parts. I'd recommend you do that and just, you know. Do the bottom part. I'll leave a video in the description bar for that, and I'll leave a video for the uh, the upper too if you want to see that. There's plenty on YouTube you can find. Um, I can't do that myself, of course. They changed a lot of their the stuff they're allowed to to be posted. What they're gonna, you know, censor. Of course, our our um, lines of thought, right? Our political beliefs are gonna be censored. But uh, hey, there's stuff up there that we can use still. And I'll put that up. This is my recommendation for you guys out there. You believe in the Second Amendment. You know what it really means. And uh, you want a rifle to protect yourself. It may come down to something like that someday. You never know. Again, man, I say that, you know, there's people out there just waiting for society to have a hiccup, man. Katrina, L.A. riots, um, Baltimore. You look at just nutcases out there just waiting for things to go wrong. Something like this, it may look scary, but it's not. It's a glorified 22. You want something that's going to do some damage? Any basic bolt-action hunting rifle will do a lot more damage than this thing. Right? So, uh, anyway, there's something you're interested in. I mean, basically a brand new rifle. For looking at 300 bucks and, you know, plus tax. That is a hell of a deal. Hell of a deal. And I can't say enough. I mean, at this price point, man... I like it. I, I want to put another one together just, you know, just because, actually. So, uh, my brother might do the same thing. Hell, I, I might just, like, you know, Greg, I'll do this for you. I'll take care of it. <laughs> just because. Because uh, it, it was kind of fun. I like doing this kind of stuff. And it's not that hard, guys. It, it's it's pretty simple. The the stuff's on YouTube on how to do it. This is quality parts. You got any questions, uh, be careful with your little springs and such, you know. But uh, other than that, you pay attention, it's not that hard. And he can have a good quality rifle. And it's not going to set you back as much as you may think. Alright, well, that's it for me. Yeah, have a good one, guys. Uh, any questions, you know, send me a question. Leave it in the, description, in the uh, comment box. And uh, I'll leave uh, videos that are going to help you out in the description bar. Alright, guys, I'm out. You have a good one. Uh, Jenkins, man, best of luck to you, brother. God be with you, brother. Alright guys, I am out.